Peace be with you. Okay, I'm back. And uh, as I thought, although I could not see them while I was live, people had asked some good questions. So after going off the live chat and going looking at it, I could see some of the questions. So I'm going to answer uh, two or three questions were there about the cartoons that are being made in Holland against the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. And people were asking, what should we do about this? That's a very, very good question. And it's a very, very sad situation, but it is just an indication that this is a real struggle going on, a real battle is going on between the forces of good and the forces of evil. And the satanic people are trying to defame the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, thinking that they can somehow gain something from that. But they will suffer. So, but the real question is, what should we do about it? And the answer is, very clearly for me, first of all, pray. Pray to Allah, pray to God to protect us and for the, this to be an opportunity for the truth to come out. Because it is. It is an opportunity for us to talk about the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and tell people the truth about him, that he is not a jihadi, <laughs> as the media tries to portray him, as the satanic people try to present him. He was actually a very tender-hearted, kind, forgiving, generous, loving person. And anyone who takes the trouble to do a little research and find out the real information about the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, they will see that this is true. So that's one good thing that can come out of this horrible attack on the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, that it will give us a chance to speak up and tell the truth. Now, of course, what we should not do <laughs> is attack and kill the offices of the people that are presenting this. That won't do any good. That will only, that's what they want. They want to get Muslims angry and get them to attack. Then they can say, see, these Muslims are terrorists. And if no Muslims do it, then they will manufacture some terrorist act. And they will say, oh, see, the Muslims have done this against their terrorists, even though they're not Muslims. So this is what the world has come to, that these satanic people, they have created so-called Muslim terrorists. They're not Muslims, really but they pose themselves as Muslim just in order to defame the name of Islam and the name of the Holy Prophet. So we need to be very intelligent in dealing with this. All right, once again, Facebook is preventing me from seeing your questions and comments. I don't know why this is happening. Um, It's very sad because I like to see what you're asking so I can answer your questions. But uh, some on the previous chat that I did, which I could not see the comments while I was live, but I saw them afterwards, people were talking also about Imran Khan becoming Prime Minister of Pakistan. So even without seeing those comments, that's what I was talking about on the last short chat, which I had to cut off because I could not see the questions. Um, but I will just repeat that this is a great victory uh, for truth. This is a great victory over evil and selfishness and corruption. And let us all pray and support Imran Khan. Pray for him that he will be given strength and intelligence how to fight against the corruption that is still there. <laughs> it's not finished by any means. There are a lot of corrupt politicians in Pakistan who are afraid that they may lose their position and their ability to go on stealing. So uh, they're going to do all they can to stop Imran Khan from cleaning up the corrupt government. Um, so we should pray for him, that he will be given the strength and the intelligence to carry out this very difficult and dangerous work of cleaning the swamp, draining the swamp, as we say in America, cleaning out the corruption. But uh, that's what he has to do, and he said he will do it. 
and he said he will support the poor, which is very important. That really is the basis of an Islamic state. It is an Islamic welfare state, taking care of the poor and weaker elements of society. That is what the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, established in Medina. Medina Manovara is the holy city where Islam was first established as a state. And Pakistan is Medina Isani, the second Medina, where the new Islamic state will be established, inshallah. And that new Islamic state will be based on truth, on justice, on love and kindness and forgiveness, and especially taking care of the poor and weaker people in the society. So Imran Khan has promised to do all this, and uh, let us pray for him that he will be able to, because it's not going to be easy. I don't know how far he can succeed, but let us pray that he is. And if he cannot do it for any reason, then others will definitely come forward and do it, because that is the destiny of Pakistan. That has been dictated, decreed by Allah Almighty, by the supreme, all-powerful God. So that will happen. When and how it will happen, it depends not only on Imran Khan, but especially on all of us, Pakistanis, that means, and all people of the world, sincere, pure-hearted people, must support the effort to clean up the corruption, to drain the swamp. <laughs> so, unfortunately, once again, I cannot see your questions and comments. So, I don't know why this is happening, but what I will do is I will end this chat and then I will look at your questions and comments and I will answer them. Maybe I'll come on again, I don't know, but in any case, uh, thank you all very much for watching and asking questions that I'm sure you've asked that I cannot see, but I will end the chat, then hopefully I'll be able to see your questions, then I may come back on, or else I will answer them uh, by typing them in replies to your comments and questions. Okay, thank you all very much. Praise God, from whom all blessings flow. <laughs> Praise God, all creatures here below. Alhamdulillah. May God protect us all. Allah Hafiz.